Hello, everyone, and welcome to NEF Nugget, where I'll give you one tip that will inspire you to act and motivate you to move. So on today's NEF Nugget, we're going to be talking about scaling, right? And before we even get into what those three telltale signs about scaling is, let's kind of define what scaling is in its simplest terms. So basically scaling, when it comes to your business, is when you're setting your business up in a way to support its ability to support your growth. So you're just making sure you're setting the stage to enable and support the growth of your company, of your business. It just means you're having the ability to set whatever growth comes your way without feeling hammered or, excuse me, hampered um, or inundated with too many things, or to, but you're prepared for the influx of businesses or, or the influx of business and clients that you may receive. So it definitely will require some planning on your part. It may even require some funding, uh, making sure you have the right systems, staffing may um come into play, having a team member um, or team members, making sure you have your processes in place, maybe even some technology, as well as you may even need some partners when it comes to scaling, just some things to kind of think about. Now, some parallelpreneurs, you know, may not be able to scale, may not even be their desire to scale for their business. All businesses are not ready for scaling. So let's be clear about that first and foremost, because um, some businesses in all true, all honesty, never make it that big, really, you know, so first you really got to kind of analyze if your business is prepared to scale up. And so let's get into those three telltale signs. So number one, you meet and exceed your business targets. As a new business owner, you need to have, make sure you have sales forecasts for your business, action plans um, to kind of help predict, you know, what is going to happen in your business. Um, you need to use exact time frames expenses, your average revenue, and uh, accurate sales predictions, and increase to increase your profitability. So all these things you have to take into consideration. You need to make sure, uh, sorry, <laughs> you need to make sure that you document um, when you meet or when you exceed these targets to assess your your data, right? It's all about assessing that data, you know, making sure that you're setting attainable and higher goals, you know, every month or every day or quarterly. And if you're, and if you're still beating these, then it may be time for you to scale. And number two telltale sign is your long-term business goals are becoming challenging. And if you're meeting your revenue targets, why would long-term goals of increasing your profits may be an issue? So let's talk about that. So your monthly returns may be great because you're currently being able to fulfill, you know, the, the current demand of your business. You're being able to see all of those clients or service all of those clients and you're being you're able to do it currently without any problems. However, if you find yourself in a situation where you're starting to refuse sales or refuse clients or potentially clients are going on a waiting list for months on end because you just don't have the time to be able to work with those clients based on what your current client load is, um, then those are some of the things that that's when the goals start to look kind of challenging for you. And it's really because this is the lack indicates that your business is growing quicker than you, you expect it, right? So if that's happening, that's a great thing. That means it's time for you to scale. So that's how your long-term business goals are starting to be challenging because you're no longer able to fulfill the demand based on um, you've been the service provider um, alone. So that's number two. Let's talk about number the third way to um, the, of the telltale signs that it may be time for you to scale your business. Your supply is insufficient for your demand. So rising demands for your services is precisely what we all aim for, right? We all aim for that waiting list or, you know, it's going to take a few months before you can work with me. However, you may lose some of your clients when it's not, you're not able to service them, whether it's lack of the time, whether you don't have enough, you know, um, team members to support you into working with more clients. Um, and so if you can't keep up with the surging demand, that may be also a telltale sign it's time to scale. You know, the hype and the brand image you build will suffer if you can't keep up with the demand. Um, that's happening in your business. So your revenue expansion demand is, is also based on your customer base. So improving how you handle your customers and your clients any ensures that 
you were they will remain satisfied with your brand and if your startup is ready to grow and reinforce your infrastructure at first if necessary so let's recap the three telltale signs that you are ready to scale your business number one you are meeting and exceeding your business goals number two your long-term business goals are starting to feel challenging and number three your supply is insufficient for the demand you are a hot commodity everybody wants to work with you and so you're right. <laughs> the it's insufficient. So then that means it's time to scale. Um, and that's some things you need to be on the lookout for in your business, paying attention to those things before you're in a situation where you have to turn away clients. Start seeing, noticing if you know, quarter after quarter, year after year, you're meeting your, you know, you're meeting and exceeding your business goals. Then it's like, oh, well, then I may be time for me to bring on additional team members or additional um coaches or additional designers or organizers or whatever the case may be um, to keep up with that kind of demand and just making sure that if you're constantly getting all of these leads that you can keep up with that as well. So for those who don't know me, I am Nefertaria Fonde and I'm the owner of Go Get It Inc. Certified Life Business and Sales Coach for parallelpreneurs. Those are entrepreneurs who are building a business alongside their career. I help them get clear on who they serve and get confident in their services so they can get cash in their business and have a thriving side business so they can eventually go into full-time entrepreneurship. If you want to get help getting clear, getting confident, and getting cash, then feel free to go to my website, www.gogetitinc.com, and click the complimentary consultation and fill out the form, and you'll um, get on my calendar as soon as you can. All right, talk to you soon. And remember, be profitable and be blessed. Bye for now.